Hi, Brent Tech here, where Tech is made simple. Just a quick video to let you know that when you now install progressive web apps in the Google Chrome web browser, these PWAs now, when you install them, get registered on the Windows operating system, which means you can uninstall them like any native and traditional app on the Windows operating system. Um, and now you can uninstall those from the settings menu in the apps and features list, start menu, and also the control panel as well. Now this is a feature that has been available in the Edge browser now for quite some time where when you install a PWA in Microsoft Edge it'll place the app entry in the apps and features list in the settings menu where you can uninstall it like any native app on your device. Now this feature now has recently become available in uh, Google Chrome uh, Canary version 96 which is a pre-release version of the uh, browser used for testing and experimenting. Now it's not a default feature. We have to enable the feature like most features in uh, uh, Chrome Canary using a flag. And to do this, we just head up to our Omnibox, our address bar, and we enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in the search, the flag is called enable PWAs to register as an uninstallable app in Windows on the installation. Now that's quite a mouthful, but I find if you just enter uninstallable, it'll bring the flag up. And it says here, uh, this allows the PWA to show up in Windows control panel and other OS surfaces and be uninstallable from these surfaces. For example, uninstalling by right clicking on the app in the start menu. And as mentioned, that's currently available for the Windows operating system. Now we change the default setting to enable to apply the flag, relaunch the browser so that flag gets applied. And as an example, I am just going to go over to Twitter and install Twitter as a PWA progressive web app now on my system. And you'll see in the top right of the address bar, you just click on install Twitter install and this installs the uh, Twitter PWA um, just and it makes it available just like any native and traditional app on my system where it works independently of the browser and I can pin it to my taskbar and so on. Now if we just head over to the old legacy control panel first and we go to programs and features you will see that it's actually placed Twitter as an entry in my uh, programs and features list uh, in Windows. And Microsoft Edge, though, doesn't place its PWAs yet. It only places them in the apps and features list. But this flag allows uh, in uh, uh, Google Chrome Canary now allows you to place uh, the actual uh, app in the programs and features list as well. And if you click on that, you can go uninstall it straight from the prog uh, programs and features list. And if we just head over to our settings menu and apps in the apps and features list yeah you will see if we go down to uh, yeah we go Twitter it's placed it as an entry like any native and traditional app on my Windows system and if I want to uninstall it like any other app I can just go click uninstall and that will remove it from my system so as I say, this is only available in uh, Google Chrome Canary, uh, the uh, version 96 at the moment. And it's not known if this will actually make its way down to the stable version. But a lot of the features that do um, roll out in Google Chrome Canary do make their way down to the stable version in the near future. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.